So in this lesson, I'm going to talk about the unitary method in percentages. So if you have to find 100% and a certain percentage of a quantity is given, then how do we find the 100%? Now, uh, unitary method is, it involves two steps. So step number one, you find 1%, and then in step number two, you multiply 1% 1 by 100. Now, why do we do that? Uh, I'm going to explain this through an example. So in this example, if you have 500% and 20% is 240 ml, then you need to find 100% uh, here. So first of all, if 20% is 240 ml, which means this information is given, and then you have to find 100% is what the question is asking you to do. Now, so I will set up, so 20% is in this case is equal to, so 20% is equal to 240 ml, and now we need to find 100%. Now, if the given percentage is a multiple of 100, and multiple of 100s are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, 50, 100, then we do not have to do anything. Uh, we don't have to find the 1%, so we don't have to do the unitary method here. Why? Because 20 times 5, when I multiply this by 5, and this mul multiply by 5, this is going to give me 100% um, easily. So 20, 240 multiplied by 5, so 200 multiplied by 5 is 1,000. And then 40 multiplied by 5 is uh, 200, so that's 1,200 milliliters. So I can find this very easily. So in this case, I did not have to do 1%. So the ultimate aim is to have the given information as a multiple of 100. In this case, it was given as a multiple of 100. Then we didn't have to do the unitary method. Now I'm going to move to the next example where we have find 100% if 6% of the quantity is 42. So this is what we have to find out. And this is our given information. So 6% is equal to 42. And now I have to find 100% here. Now to do that, 6 is not a multiple of 100. So this is not a multiple of 100, which means I have to find 1% first. Now to get 1% from 6%, I need to divide everything by 6. So this is 7. So 1% of, um, if 6% is 42, 1% is 7. Now to find 100, I simply need to multiply this by 100. So I will get 7 times 100, which is equal to 700. So to get 1% from 6%, I need to scale it down by 6. So we use scale it down by 6. And to get 100% from 1%, we need to scale it up, scale it up by 100. And the final answer in this case is going to be 700. Let's do another example. So another example in this case is you have to find now 71% of a quantity. So this is what they are asking in the question. If 40% of the quantity is 480, this is given. And I'm going to set up. So 40% is equal to 480. Now, this question you can do in two different ways, actually. And the unitary method is not the only way to find uh, certain percentages of a quantity. You can use um, various methods, but this lesson is focused on the unitary method. Uh, so here, 40% is 480. One way you can also do is you can find 10% because we know, remember the multiples of 100. The multiples of 100, we have 1, 2, 5, um, 10, and then you have 100, and 1, 2, 4, and then you have 50, 25, 20. So you have these many multiples of this. So you can also do 10% first. 10% will be easier to do. 40% is 480, which means 10% is going to be 120. Uh, for, from 40% to 10%, you are scaling it down, scaling it down by 4. So that's 10% is 120. And then you need to scale it up by 10 which means you multiply this by 10 and you get 100%, which is equal to uh, 1,200. So you can do that. If 40% is 
divide by 4 is 120. So 100% is 1200, but we don't need 100%. That's the problem here, right? So if you have to find the 100% of a quantity, you could have done that. But here, you need 71%. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to find 1% again. So what is 1% here? That is equal to 480 divided by 40, which is going to be 12. And then for 71%, I will find 71 into 12, which is going to be, when you multiply this, this will give you 852, right? So you need to really um, see that. Uh, do I need to use unitary method in this case or not? In this case, if that number could have been 70%, then I could have simply do 10% and multiply by 7, which will give me 70%. But here, since I had to find 71%, there's no point of doing this. So what we did is we found 1% and then we multiplied by 71. So here we scale it down by scale it down uh, by 40 and then scale it up by 71. That's it for uh, the unitary method in percentages.